Okay, class, in this video, we're going to cover 9.2 measures of central tendency, and there are 15 problems in this particular um, video. So for number one, it says find the mean for the following group of data items. And so to find the mean, that's the same thing as the average. And so we're basically adding up all of the data items and then dividing by the number of data items. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight data items. So we end up with this decimal 4.25. Now for number two, it says find the mean for the data items in the given frequency distribution. So you have the data values, but then the number of times that those data values appear, the frequency at which they appear. So if you want the total value or total sum of all of these, it would just be one. The sum of the four twos would be eight. The sum of the six threes would be 18. The sum of the six fours would be 20. Essentially what you're doing is finding the products. You're multiplying the frequency with the, um, the score. So you're finding XF, X times F. And that's giving you these values down here. So when I add up all of those products, this gives you the total sum. So it's the same thing as the numerator up here, adding up all of your values together. But I have to divide by the number of numbers. So we add up all of our frequencies together and this gets the, the total number of numbers. So I did 170 divided by 36. We get this decimal. It said round to three decimal places. So this two does not affect that two. So the value is 4.722. Now for number three, it says find the median for the following group of data items. So when you're finding the median, the first thing you need to do is make sure that all of your data items are in order from least to greatest or greatest to least, it doesn't matter whether it's ascending or descending, but they do need to be ordered, okay? Once you have them ordered, you basically find the guy in the middle and that's your median. If there is two people left in the middle, then you basically just take their average. So here, I put all the data in, in order, then I crossed out the first and the last, then the next one, then the next one, and I actually had two data in the middle. So I took their average, added them together and divided by the two numbers that were there. And I got 24.5 as my median. So for number four, we did the same thing. We put these values in order and then I crossed them out one at a time, one on each end, keep moving toward the center. And I only had one value in the middle. So that was my median. Now number five says, find the median for the data items in the given frequency distribution. Now this one's a little bit more confusing, but you are doing the same thing. So if I wanna cross out these eight values on the right end, I have to also count out eight values on the left end. So here's two values out, a third value out, a fourth and a fifth value out. Um, then I have six, seven, eight. I only need to take out three more. So if I take out three more, I'll still have one left over, okay? So that's taking out these eight. Then next, I wanna keep going, right? And I wanna mark off um, four of these. So if I mark off four of these, I'm gonna have to take out that one, two, three, and one more. And since there were three here, if I take out one more, I'm gonna have two left. Now these two numbers are the only two numbers left in the middle. So remember, if you're left with two numbers in the middle, then you have to take their average. So six plus six divided by the two sixes is six. So the median here is six. Now for number six, it says find the modes for the following group of data items. So we have all of this data um, and mode is the, num the numbers or data values that repeat the most, okay? Now here, I only have one data value, 23, that repeats. So since it's the only data value that repeats, it is my mode. Now, number seven is the same thing, find the mode of the following group of data. But here, I have two values that repeat. I have 7.5 that repeats twice, and I have 5.8 that repeats twice. 
Since both of them repeat twice, the same number of times, both of them are my modes. For number eight, it says find the mode for the data items in the given frequency distribution. So you're looking for the one with the highest frequency. This one repeats the absolute most. Now notice that there is another one that repeats a high number amount, but since this one repeats eight times, it is the one that repeats the most. So that one will be our mode. And so what is the data value? The data value is five that repeats eight times. Now for number nine, it says find the mid range for the following group of data. So in order for you to find the mid range, you basically take the highest data value plus the lowest data value and divide it by two. So the highest data value in here is 17 and the lowest data value in here is 10. Is 10. So I did 17 plus 10 over two, which was 13.5. Same thing for number 10, it says find the mid range of the data items in the frequency distribution. So where's the lowest? The lowest is 54, the highest is 61. So we added those together and we divided it by two and we got, not this number, we got 57.5. Um, now, number 11 says, use the display of data to find the mean. So here we have a graph and they want us to find the mean. So what I did was I made basically my frequency distribution. So the data value, which is the score, that's the X. Um, here it's 10. The score is 10, but the frequency is 3. Here the score is 11, but the frequency is also three. The score is 12, but the frequency was four. The score 13 had a frequency of five. The score 14 had a frequency of two. And the score of 15 had a frequency of three. There was no dots for 16 or nine, so I did not include those in my frequency distribution. So here's the first question. It says, find the mean of the data. So I have to multiply these together, right? Add them all up. That gives me my product sum, which is 249. Then I have to divide by the frequency sum. So if I add up all of these, I actually ended up with 20. And so when I take this division, I end up with 12.49. It says round to the nearest tenth. So the nine does make the four go up to five. So the result there is 12.5. Now the mean of the data, or I'm sorry, the median of the data means I got to start getting them to the middle. They are already in order from lowest to highest. So if I mark off these three, then I have to mark off three from there. If I want to mark off these three, I have to mark off two from here and then one from there, which means I have four left. And then if I mark off, well, there's four and four left. So what's going to happen is if I mark off three of these, I'm going to be left with one. If I mark off three of these, I'm going to be left with one. So the two numbers I'm left with in the middle are 12 and 13. So I take their average and I get also coincidentally the same 12.5. Now the last part set or second to last part says, select the correct choice below. If necessary, fill the answer box to complete your choice. The mode of the data. So the one that has the highest frequency and the data value that has the highest frequency is 13. And so 13 it re is the one that is repeated the most. Um, and then the last question is find the mid range. So the lowest value, which is 10, plus the highest value, which is 15, divided by two gives you coincidentally again, 12.5. Okay, number 12. So number 12 says, use the display of data items to find the mean, median, mode, and mid range. So we've got these things here. I wrote them down in order because that would help me with my median. Um, and writing them out like this also helped me to figure out the sum. So I wrote uh, in order 30, 32, 35, 72, 73, 77, 77, 91, and 92. And so if I add all of those up and then divide by the number of numbers, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine numbers. So that sum divided by the number of numbers 
gave me this value. I rounded it to the nearest tenth and I got 64.3. Now the median, I just marked off the ends and I kept doing that equally until I got to the center, which happened to be just 73. Um, and then for the mode, it looks like the only number that's repeating here is the 77, right? This is the only one that's repeating. So that is going to be my mode. And then mid range, the lowest value plus the highest value divided by two turns out to be 61. For number 13, it says the accompanying data describes net worth of the 15 richest people under 35. Complete parts A through D below. So here's the information that we were given. Um, and I got to scroll up a little bit to get to the questions. Um, find the mean. So we need to find the average. So what I did was is I added all of these numbers up and I got 100.9. And since there are 15 people, I did 100.9 divided by 15, and I got that decimal there, and I rounded it to the nearest tenth, resulting in 6.7. Now for part B, it says find the median. So I started crossing them out. So 1 and 1, 2 and 2, 3 and 3, 4 and 4, 5 and 5, 6 and 6, 7 and 7, and this was the median. Oh, no, I had to put them in order. That's what I did. So what I had to do is I had to cross them out in order. Instead of listing them in order, what I did was I just crossed them out in order. So I noticed that 57 was the largest, and then 1.2 was the smallest. Then the next largest was 10.3. So here goes the other 1.2. Then 8.9. And the next number bigger than 1.2 is 1.4. Then three, oh, no, 4.7. So that'll mark out this. Then 3.2. That will mark out 1.6. Then 3.1 marks out the other 1.6. And all I have left are these three guys. So 1.8 will mark out 1.7, and I'll still have 1.7 left, which will be my median, okay? Now, the mode is the one that repeats the most. So notice that you have uh, 1.6 that repeats two times, you have 1.2 that repeats two times, and then you have 1.4 that repeats two times. You also have uh, 1.7 that repeats two times. So there, none of them repeats more than the other. They all repeat twice. So that means all four of them are our modes. If just one of them had repeated three times, then that would have been my only mode, would have been the one that repeated three times. But since all four repeat just twice, all four are our mode. Now, the last one is the mid-range. So you take the lowest value in this chart, which was 1.2, plus the highest, which was 57.1, and divide it by 2, and that gave us the mid-range of 29.15. For number 14, the number of social interactions of 10 minutes or longer over a one-week period for a group of college students is given in the free following frequency table. These interactions excluded family and work situations. Find the mean, median, mode, and mid-range for these data. So here you have the social interactions. Here you have the social interactions, and here's the number of college students. So these are your A, like your scores, and these are your F, like your frequencies, okay? So in order for us to find the mean, we have to find all the products, right? We have to find X times F. So those products I've written up above, just because I didn't feel like I had enough space down below. And I added up all the products, that's the total sum. And I added up my frequency, that's the total frequency. So we take 1937 and divide it by 11. We get this decimal, we round that decimal to the nearest tenth and we get 17.5. Now the median um, 
is the one where we have to find the guy in the middle. They're already in order from least to greatest. So if I mark off these 15, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I got to mark off six from the 14 here, which would leave me with eight left. Then if I want to cross out 20, that's eight. And then 12 more from here would make 20. So I would still have one left. Then if I want to mark off this 20, I would have to take out that one and then 19 from here. So it would leave me with one more. And that one more would be the one that's directly in the middle. So that data value that's directly in the middle is 20. And so the median here is the value 20. Now the next one says to select the modes. So I did notice that um, 20 was the highest frequencies. And there's three data values that have that highest frequency. So all three of those data values are the modes, 9, 14, and 20. And then the mid-range, I for some reason didn't do it here, but the mid-range would be the highest value plus the lowest value divided by two, which is twenty-four point five. Okay, <clears throat> moving on to the last question in this section. We have in one common system for finding a grade point average or GPA, um, you have A equal to four, B equal to three, C equal to two, D equal to one, and F equal to zero. The GPA is calculated by multiplying the number of credit hours for a course and the number assigned to each grade, and then adding these products. Then divide this sum by the total number of credit hours because each course grade is weighted according to the number of credits of the course. GPA is called a weighted mean. Calculate the GPA for this transcript. So basically our grades are like our data values and our credit hours are like our frequency. So if I find the products FXF, remember B is equal to two and C is, or I'm sorry, B is equal to three and C is equal to two. So then when I find my products, it's going to be 3 times 2, which is 6, 3 times 3, which is 9, 3 times 3, which is 9, and 2 times 3, which is 6. If I add up all the, the products, I get 30. And if I add up all my frequencies, I get 11. You take your total sum over your sum of your frequency, and you get your mean. But it said to round it to the nearest hundredth, tenths, hundredths. So this 7 will cause this 2 to go up. So it turns the decimal into 2.73. That is the end of this particular video. Um, and since that is 9.3, that is the end of this particular unit. So we will have two more sections to cover before the final exam, but there will not be a separate test over the two chapter 10 um, assignments. Those will be included in the final exam, but they don't have their own special test. So I will see you guys in the next video, which will happen to be the test review for chapters eight and nine.